This isn't for a grade. This is um, for you to get an opportunity to practice the things that we've learned about um, database design. What I've done is I've identified a problem. All right. Problem goes something like this. Imagine I work for a really big company. All right. We have a big building and we have a bunch of conference rooms. All right. Now, the characteristics of each conference room is different insofar as some of them have, they have different capacity. Some of them are, are small, maybe only eight people can be in. Some of them are big, maybe you could have 20 people in. So, uh, they have different um, um, equipment in them. Some of them might have a, a computer, some of them might have a projector, some of them might have cameras for recording, but they have different sorts of equipment. All right. The problem that we're trying to solve is that at this company, um, there's no order as far as uh, reserving the conference rooms. In other words, people will reserve a conference room not realizing that it doesn't have the equipment that they need or it's not the right capacity or they may think that they have it reserved when actually another uh, set of people are using it on that day. So there's conflicts as far as that goes. So what you're to do is you're to create a database, design a database to, to solve this problem. And I've summarized sort of the rules up here. And we'll take a look at them. And let me make the text size bigger. this heading. Oh. This one? There we go. Thank you. Okay. All right, here's the rules. At many conference rooms. Each conference room has a room number and can seat a certain number of employees. So room 102 can seat 16 employees. Also, people call a conference room by sort of a nickname. So the conference room, in addition to 105, they might say, well, you know, the big conference room or the main conference room or the uh, corner conference room. So each, each one sort of has an informal name in, in addition to the number. Each conference room can be equipped with a number of different pieces of equipment. All right. So in certain conference rooms there might be computers, in certain conference rooms there might be projectors, um, and so on, teleconferencing uh, equipment, and so on and so forth. Conference rooms are scheduled for meetings. So you want to have a meeting in a certain conference room, it should be scheduled. All right. Meetings have a starting date and time and an ending date and time, and a list of employees that are attending. All right, so you would say that uh, a meeting is, you know, 9.16 and from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m., and Bob, Pete, Joe, Sue, and Joan are going to be there. All right. It's important to have a description of the meeting. Just in case there's a conflict for the conference room, they can look at the description and decide maybe which one's going to take precedence. So you're going to put a description uh, of the meeting too, you know, whether it's just something critical or they're planning the fantasy football league or something like that. All right. Each meeting might require more than one piece of equipment, one or more than one equipment. In other words, you know, we're having a meeting and we need a computer with a projector. So that meeting would require two pieces of equipment. Maybe we're having a meeting and we require a whiteboard and a flip chart. So again, two pieces of equipment that would, would require. Or maybe we not none, none, none at all. Maybe we just need a, meet a, need a room that seats 12 people and there's no special requirements uh, as far as equipment goes. To one department. All right. So. What I want you to do is work with others, look through this, and design a set of tables that you feel 
uh, answer or satisfy these conditions. It shouldn't be too hard to see some of the information that we could get on this. We could, for example, we haven't talked about queries yet in this class, but we will. We could, for example, run queries to see uh, any two reports that, that over, or I'm sorry, any two meetings that overlap, you know, where there's a conflict of the con uh, conference rooms. Or a meeting where the equipment required doesn't match the equipment that's in that room. Had such and such meeting is in conference room 102 and it needs a computer, but there are no computers in 102, for example. So it should be easy to see sort of the information that we could get out of this raw data. Now, we're not going to do that because we haven't got the queries yet. Perhaps later on in the term, maybe we might flesh out this database and run some reports and queries to give a, a better sense of the kind of information that we can get out of it. But for now, our job is simply to design the database. So create the structure, create the tables and attributes and relationships that implements these rules. Any questions about this? All right. Um, I'll kind of just keep an eye on you folks informally to see when it looks like either you feel that you finished it or you uh, feel that you're at an impasse. Uh, throughout this, feel free to ask questions. Uh, assume that I'm the person that's responsible for uh, the facilities at this organization. So if you have questions about something that might be vague or not mentioned in this list, feel free to ask. All right. Have fun. In a few minutes, we'll come back and we will discuss uh, a solution.